Back home we go. A loading home. Yeah, I just want to put that coin in the well. I think this is a bit too far south of the town for the blacksmith, but uh, who knows? Here we go. Toss the coin. I hope your wish was for eternal friendship. Woo! I really will hope your wish comes true. Yes. My wish for it, it, eternal friendship. How did you know? Let's go. All the way back. Traverse pun? Yes. And off we go. Dun dun dun. I've still got a hand, right? I don't really know what to do with that. Other than let it tug on my shoulder when I go into like obscure locations. Oh, this looks like a blacksmith's. Smells like violence. Nice. Wow, he's a buff guy. Well, hello there, stranger. My name is Rudy. Welcome to my blacksmith's shop. I'm actually one of the newest members in town. So, like, I just built this place. Sadly, that also means I don't have much to sell yet. I can tell you came looking to buy. You know what? I think you can help me out. A strong and noble adventurer like you is going to need some steel to wield. If you can help me find some metal to smelt, I think I can get you a weapon. What do you say? Yes. Oh, Brad! This is going to be, like, amazing for the both of us. The best place to get some would be near the south of my shop. It's also probably the best that you follow me there to help grab the materials. And protect me along the way from the any danger. Follow me, but please, don't touch my arms. The last person I did is six feet under. Damn. All right, try to keep up. Don't put his arms now. You? I'm very... Please come back, I'm scared. Okay. I hope I'm enjoy- I'm going to- I do not even read that on time. Shit. I'm sure I hope nothing bad happens to us. Nah, nothing bad will happen, Rudy. You with me, the guy with two feet and no legs. Man, I'm getting exhausted. Don't, don't give up, Rudy. Rudy. Almost there! I can see it now! There we go. I really want to touch your arms. Wow! See that middle pal? We're getting closer by the second! Yes we are. Wow! What a journey that was! I can't believe we made it! I'm really glad we didn't get ambushed or anything. That would not have been good. Anyways, you seem exhausted from all that walking. Get on the pile of water. Get on the pile of metal and I'll carry you back. There's nothing my big beefy arms can't handle. Okay. Alright, let's go! Here we go. What a guy. 
doesn't even use his legs. Never heard a leg there. Doggo, come back. Ah! Oh, okay. Actually, never mind, you're way too heavy. Rudy. Whoa. Rudy is going to be a great friend, I just know it. I mean, just look at those arms. Rudy, what the hell? I'm working on your weapon. We're not been out ready until tomorrow. Thanks again for the help. I couldn't have done it without you. Okay, no problem, Rudy. Freaking Rudy. I'm gonna pet the dog. There we go. There aren't any more quests on the board? We've done everything. Rudy, have a hand. Place the hand on top of the llama. Nothing happens. Okay. Hey, Toddly. Ah, friend Neo. It's good to see you again. Thank you for helping out, townsfolk. It really means a lot. You are so courageous, caring, strong, smart, and friendly. But most importantly, you are our hero. I can now trust you with some important information. Come close. Perfect! A very powerful monster who has terrorized us for many years has returned. You probably haven't seen it yet because it lurks in the shadows. It's known as the Snoodle Wonker. Martin was the only one to ever fight it off and win. You know, the small rock with the top hat? Talk to him and he will be able to show you how he did it. Okay. Thank you, Tartley. No one stands for your door, by the way. Get out of the way, punk. Come on, I'm coming to you. Mr. Rock. Hello, friend. You need some help? Yes. Ah, I know exactly what this is about. You must be wondering about the Snoodle Wonker. Legend has it that it was once a man, but a terrible accident left him deformed. It has slaughtered many of our townsfolk, killed my wife years ago, too. It shook me to the core. You must not let this happen again. It only hunts at night, picking off those who wander off alone in the forest. You'll know it is in there by its smell, which I'm sure you'll have no problem figuring out. In order to fight it, you will need a sword, but not just any sword. The sword. Named it myself. I had it a while ago when the Snoodle Wonker attacked. I never wanted it to find the weapon, so I hid it under the shed near your home. The problem is, that shed is always locked now. But I know someone who can get you in. Banner, the delivery girl. You know, the person running around town. Please, save us, Mash. Hey. Banner. Hey, punk. Get out of the way. I don't stop for anyone. Wait, Martin has sent you? I knew this moment would come. I'm not much of a talker. You, you better listen. Uh, and you better listen fast. There is a secret chamber attached to the back of your house. It's hidden, so you are going to have to interact with it when you can't even see it. The key for the shed should be inside there somewhere. Godspeed, punk. Well, guess I'm going back to the shed. <sighs> Good day, bag. Wrong turn. Here we go. Oh, 
this is so exciting, isn't it? The final quest of the game is going sure to be a fun one. Let's hurry to the chamber. I'm so excited for us. Traverse the pot, yes. Back home we go. I think Banner said the chamber was behind your house. Maybe you should try interacting with the back of it. Or maybe I should. Thanks for the tip, friend -o. I forgot your name. Oh, Terence. Of course. Will you enter the chamber? Yes! Ooh, saucy. We made it to the chamber, Mash! There's a shed key in the middle of those ashes. There are also some other items that could be helpful. You should take one that you feel the connection with. So, a teddy bear, a calculator, a scythe, or a barrel. You know... I mean... The scythe seems pretty cool. But the calculator could also work. You know what? I'm going to go calculator. Will you take the calculator? Actually, let's see what this is. Anything? Anything? No. Okay. I guess. Will you choose a scythe? No. And the teddy? Will you take the teddy bear? No. I'm going to take the calculator. It, it helped to do math, right? Are you sure? Yes. Ah, the calculator. An item for a thinker. I'll keep that in mind. Oh boy. It's going to give me a thinking quest now. Check it added to inventory. I swore those ash piles were going to like attack with some mad maths. Some sick maths. I'm going inside, just to see things. Check on my room. Sleep the night, maybe? Ooh, yes. Come on, let me take a long nap. I need to get that, that sword. No? Fine. I guess I'll, I'll head, head over to the shed. You vaguely remember this shed, but now it's older and somehow creepier. The door is still sealed shut. The shed door is now unlocked. Check key removed. Will you enter the shed? Yes. Okay, this seems familiar. Although I've never been here. You know, it's got the chest and, and the, the trap door. I remember it well. You've already taken what you need. It is somehow locked again anyways. Okay, that's a bit spooky. A bit spooky. Uh, is there anything the hand wants to talk about? Seems so much pretty orange paint. Hmm. Grass is orange, right? Okay, that's a bit weird. A workbench for a working human. Whoever used it last left the hammer out. Can I take the hammer? Of course not. You're not really sure what lies in this bucket. It looks alive, but quite stiff. You place the hand on top of the bucket. Nothing happens. Okay. Let's go. Will you descend? Yes, I will. Oh, I remember this place. Yes, the chain and the um, scat tray. Oh snap. Um. Shit. There's a few creepy eyes about the place. Um. Can I use the chain? No? Okay. 
You found... Yes, you found it! You found a sword! We should head back to Mars so we can fight the Snoodle Wonka. Okay, I'm just gonna... Try and interact with things here. Nope, nothing, nothing. Not even these scratches. Where's the drawing that I touched? The ominous drawing that threatened to kill me. You know, couldn't solve the riddle. I really hope you're enjoying everything so far. In my opinion, I think it's much better than Hangman. Maybe even better than rock, paper, scissors. Let's traverse back to the north and give the sword to Martin. Yes. Let's do it. Wait, is there anything else that I want to do here? There's a glass of water. I'm gonna drink it. Oh. I'm gonna drink it right here. You drink the glass of water. Glass of water removed from the inventory. Contrary to early ex examinations, there is nothing special about it. Ah. Oh. Well, that was nice. To the north we go!